Hello everyone, I wanted to start off today's video with a question. When you saw Yoru's kit of abilities, which player were you the most excited to see play this agent? For me, it had to be Tenz, and that's why I'm doing a second video on this young FPS superstar. Tenz's mechanical prowess plus Yoru's mind-bending mobility tools makes for a deadly combination. So let's dive into a few plays that Tenz pulled off during his first day of play in Episode 2 and try to gain a better grasp of how to use Yoru's utility to maximum effect. Yoru's bounceable flashes have been an absolute blessing to any former Counter-Strike player. Blindside is an invisible projectile until it impacts a surface and then detonates just about a second later. This means you can use it for all manner of regular aggressive flashes for your team, but can also use it super effectively for yourself. In this first example, Tenz is defending on B site and sets up his gate crash anchor just behind the B main archway. He pushes aggressively as soon as the spawn barriers fall and throws a blindside orb into the ground just behind the main corner. By bouncing it so early, he times the pop of the flash to be almost instant for the attackers since they do not see the orb until right as it explodes. He turns right before the flash detonates, which means that he is only micro flashed and can easily swing the corner to eliminate two completely blind opponents. Correctly expecting another attacker to try and trade him out, Tenz backtracks using the gate crash to pull him out of the line of fire and then immediately re-engages with a second pop flash in turn to catch out the out of position player. You can get even more effectiveness out of the blindside flash by using map geometry to hide where the blind will come from. As you can see in this next clip, Yoru's elusive mobility and the power of a reliable and familiar flash mechanic makes for some really disgusting combinations for a player like Tenz. One of the first things people figured out during the Yoru playtest was the ability to basically dodge your own blindside flashes by timing them properly with a gatecrash teleport. This technique is amazingly effective and absolutely vital when playing Yoru as an entry fragger. To get the most out of this technique that I guess we can just call a flash port, you want to send a gatecrash orb towards the desired location as we see Tens do here. Then, right when the orb is nearing the range where an enemy would hear it, throw a blindside into the same area. Bounce it off the wall, ground, or ceiling, or whatever you can, and right as the blindside is about to pop, you teleport to your gate crash anchor and should find a very flashed and very confused opponent. Of all the Yoru techniques people have discovered so far, the self-fake is probably the most devastating and also satisfying to pull off. Because Yoru's gate crash is invisible at distance and moves quite fast, you can sneak it right by even a highly vigilant enemy if they are even remotely distracted. With good timing, this can make it seem like you are literally in two places at the same time to your opponents. In this first example, Tenz is defending B site from a garage push, and hearing the attackers pushing onto the site, he sends out a gate crash to the far side of the door. He then falls back towards the main pillar and peeks the incoming brimstone. With the brimstone having confirmed Tenz's location behind the pillar, Tenz falls back into cover and more importantly out of sight, and then teleports to his anchor directly behind the utterly clueless attackers. A couple one taps, a one round, and a sick highlight. This second example is another great use of the self fake, this time on the attacking side. Tenz and his team aggressively push towards A ramps, and he pop flashes the first corner to make the cross safer. As he crosses the A main entrance, he sends out a gate crash towards screens and continues up A ramps to pressure the defenders. At the top, he peeks heaven and fires off some shots to try and tag the defending jet and make sure that she knows that his Yoru is at the top of ramps. Tenz then falls back out of vision and immediately hits the gate crash tether to teleport directly into screens. This is a play that could absolutely have terrible outcome if done too slowly as more defenders might have already rotated into screens to catch the orb teleport. In this case, however, Tenz finds himself completely alone behind the entire defending team and is able to completely disrupt their defensive setup. He then sends another gate crash, having recharged it with two kills, out to the far corner of the site. He flashes through the heaven smoke and then once again tethers to the gate crash and behind the defending jet. While she hears the ability this time, it is such a quick movement from heaven to the site that Tenz is able to sidestep the panicked op shot and snag a third kill. 
Yoru's kit of abilities allows for so much creativity in how you approach the game. I am 100% sure that the agent will be a critical part of the professional meta going forward and one of the most reliable picks in matchmaking as well once people start to really get the hang of him. Even when most people learn to expect the wacky movement of Yoru's gatecrash teleports, he will be one of the most dangerous agents in the game. As you can see, by combining some of the techniques Tens showcased here, you end up with some pretty spectacular results. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't already, please let me know down below in the comments what player and what agent I should cover next time.